Hey what's up you lot, welcome back. Today's painting was a bit of an experimental one. I'm using Aquila paint which I'm sort of still getting the hang of but I knew it'd be perfect for the layered look that I was going for. I would use acrylics for that layered look but I love that Aquila has a matte finish and even though I've not had a whole lot of practice with it, I was pretty happy with how it turned out. Uh, I wanted to mess about with layering today because that's how I tend to approach skin tones and um, people always ask me about what colours to use for skin tones so I'm just going to talk about that for a sec. So you'll see that I just start with a light brown normally and add warmer and cold colours wherever I want following the contours of the face. So I'm not too fussy with what colours I use because you can always balance it out with the next layer like at one point in this it's looking a bit too orange for my liking so I think I go in with some blue on top. The main thing isn't the colour but the value of the colour so how dark or light it is. So if I wanted to do a shadowy area on the face, um, an area of the face that's further back like the hollows of the eyes or under the chin, I usually go for a dark blue but really any dark colour would work well. Same thing for lighter areas like the tip of the nose, you could literally use like a really light bright yellow or green and that would still kind of make sense to the eye. Like if you look at some artwork, I'll leave some links below, some sort of extreme examples of what I'm talking about, but you'll see that you can use all sorts of different colours that aren't necessarily there, but with the right shades in the right places to show the light and the shadow, what's nearer and what's further away, and actually still give the look of a realistic face. Also, I know I'm getting through this video quite quickly, it's currently the UK's hottest day of the year so far and being in the loft, my room is sweltering, uh, but there's too much noise outside for me to edit there and you might be able to hear lots of children playing, I think they're having a water fight in the background because I've had to keep the window open, so apologies for that. But yeah, I just wanted to use this time to talk about skin tones briefly since it's a question that I get asked a lot and I don't really have a straight answer for how I do it. Like most of my art, I do make it up as I go along, and if it works, it works, and if it doesn't, I'll go over it with something else, hence all the layering. So like I said, if it's too yellow or too whatever, I'll balance it out with something else, but really, unless you want a totally accurate, realistic painting of skin, it's a lot more fun to just throw any colours at it in the right shade of darkness or lightness, that's the thing to focus on, and then just work with that and see where it gets you. Alright, well I hope you enjoyed this video, I'm going to grab an ice lolly and sit outside for a sec, have a great week and I will see you next time, bye!